He says he wasn't drunk. Our forensic toxicologist disagreed. Let me tell you what this is all about. Now, under the law in New York, you're entitled to bring a lawsuit against a bar or a restaurant that serves alcohol to the public if you can show that that bar or restaurant sold alcohol illegally to the person who caused the accident. What does that mean exactly? It is illegal for bars or restaurants to sell alcohol to people who are visibly intoxicated. So despite the fact in this case, the person who was drunk said, I had no signs of alcohol. Um, our forensic toxicologist was able to go back in time and do a analysis of the amount of alcohol that the person drank. They were able to do an analysis based on the weight of the person, um, whether they're a social drinker, whether they're a heavy drinker, and was able to extrapolate how much this person was drinking, how many drinks they were served, and was able to determine that any reasonable bartender would have seen outward signs of intoxication or drunkenness on behalf of the, the drunk driver. They would have seen that the person was slurring their words, slipping and tripping and falling, um, so that that person should not have been sold alcohol. This led to a significant settlement in the case. So if you have a question or if you have a case involving a potential uh, person who is intoxicated or drunk, uh, give us a call here at Parker Wakeman. We handle cases like this every single day.